down. I am definitely living for this look right now. Definitely. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's makeup look is on this gold like fall appropriate. I guess you could even do it for summer. That's really like warmer weather appropriate makeup look. Um, I did pretty like soft. It's a pretty soft glam look. Just did a little bit of like a uh, shimmery gold lid. lid, 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 lid. Can't speak today, unfortunately. Um, and just like soft, wispy lashes. I didn't want anything too glam. But you can change it up and make it like a nighttime glam look if you like put a bit more of a smoky liner, like brown, maybe a brown eye color or something. And like smoke it out a little bit more. You can definitely make this like a nighttime wearable look, but I just kept it a bit more daytime, you know. I have begun this video with like a voiceover because I had a lot of noise in the background. I just thought it'd be easier. But then, like, halfway through, like, I switched up and I do you know a talk through so you get a best, bit of both the best of both worlds i guess yeah so i hope you guys enjoy today's look and without further ado let's get straight into it i'm actually so excited for you guys ah! hope you enjoy okay so as you guys can see i've already done my base i'll make sure to leave it, my foundation routine linked up above in the cards if you'd like to check it out otherwise let's move on with the eyes and first things first i'm going to take Buttercup, this nice, very vibrant yellow shade from Sugar Pill, and placing this through the crease from outer to inner corner with a nice big fluffy crease brush to make it a nice, really blown out, smoky eye today. So I'm placing most of the pigment on the outer corner and just blending whatever's left through towards the inner corner to make sure I've got that cat eye look. And as you guys can see, I build up the color slowly, so I add a little bit at a time and build up from there. Next, I'm going to go with a slightly deeper shade. I'm taking Creamsicle from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It's a nice kind of orangey yellow shade to help transition into the orange shade next. So I'm going to place that with the same fluffy crease brush from Zoeva, and I'm just placing that just slightly below Buttercup. And then once I've done that, once I've blended it through from outer to inner corner, I'm going to go and take Buttercup again and just slightly blend out Creamsicle a little bit more just so that those shades look nice and smoky and there's no harsh lines. Next I'm going to go in with Flame Point from Sugar Pill and I'm going to take that with a more um, defined crease brush. This is the soft um, definer brush from Zoeva I believe and I'm placing Flame Point from outer to inner corner but slightly lower in the crease this time so a bit on the lid but still keeping it in the crease and I'm just building up that colour slowly making sure that that orange is applied a little bit at a time because it is a deeper darker shade it's harder to go in and blend it out if you have a lot there so just take your time and build up the color then i'm going back in with creamsicle and blending out flame point just so that there's no harsh lines and i go back in with buttercup as well that yellow shade and blend out the very edges just so that it's all seamless and smoky Next I'm going to take this gorgeous shimmery gold shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette called Queen and I'm just basic, basically applying this with my finger. So just pressing that all over the lid, um, covering the whole space. Then I go back in with Flame Point but on a petite crease brush this time so that's a little bit more defined. I want that colour to be really pigmented right in that crease area. I'm using a very, very light hand. As you can see, I'm barely applying any pressure to my crease area. I'm just building up that colour there, right along the edge of the gold. Then I take Queen again, but on a Morphe MB16 brush, and just pack on that colour, and make it a little bit more crisp and defined along the edges of my crease area. Then I go back in with some of Creamsicle, and some of Buttercup as well, and just go and diffuse any harsh lines and edges. I always go back in and diffuse any lines and just go back in and make sure everything's nice and smoky. I think that's how you create the best blended effect is going back in with all the colours again. Next is for the winged liner. I went in first of all with my Hayley Baldwin eyeliner and then I went and filled that in with the one from Milani in the shade Everlast. Um, just because my Hayley Baldwin one is a little bit like is running out a little bit so I wanted to create the kind of shape with it so a nice crisp line and then just fill it in with that really deep dark um, eyeliner from um, Milani and yeah I just fill it in make my wings pretty simple I don't want them to be too extravagant and cover up too much of the eyeshadow 
Um, so yeah, it's up to you how you guys do your wings. And yeah, you should have something like this. Next, for my favourite part of this whole look, I literally I'm obsessed with this eye shimmer. It's from Gorgeous Cosmetics. It's in the shade Antique Gold. It's like a little eye pigment, um, eyeshadow pigment. And I'm just placing this over the centre of the lid where that gold is. Probably would have been easier if I did this before the wing liner, but then I saw it lying around. I was like, oh, I have to use this. And I'm so happy I did. It just made this whole look. It's so beautiful. Like, do you just see that reflect? It's stunning. Okay, so I've done the eyes at the moment. I'm going to add some mascara and lashes. I feel like I want to do something wispy. I don't want anything too overpowering with this. So I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to look through some lashes and see which ones I want to choose. So I'm back with my lashes on. These ones are the House of Lashes Temptress Wispies. They're pretty ratty at the moment. Like I definitely need to get a new pair. But I just I love these ones so much because they're just they are they're really natural. They're just kind of like an extension of your own lashes, and they don't cover up the eyeshadow, which is what I want. So I'm going to move on with the bottom lash line. I think I might use a nude liner today. Like keep the eyes quite open, quite daytime appropriate quite soft kind of thing. I feel like if I used a brown it would just be a little bit too smoky and too dark but I mean it's up to you. You can go in with the brown if you'd rather make this like a nighttime smoky eye. So I'm going to take the nude coal liner from Models Prefer and just line my waterline with that. Oh mm. literally just makes you look so much more awake. I just love it so much and I'm going to like kind of deepen the lash line up a little bit um, maybe with like a brown I think I might keep like the bottom lash line a little bit different to the top lid space just because I do want a bit of contrast and I do want this to be a little bit more defined because we have that nude liner in there it can kind of you can kind of lose a bit of definition in the waterline um, the lash line so I'm going to take my Zoeva precise shader brush something like with a real thin tip to it quite defined and I'm going to take the shade Mocha from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and just wiggle that tightly against my outer corner lash line. So I just lined my lash line a little bit with that precise shader and now I'm going to go in with my pencil brush and take a lighter brown tone. I'm going to mix a couple together because I do want like kind of like a rusty brown. So I'm going to take the shade Hunts but also mix it with Butter. So I actually went and just dipped in to all those shades, like across that row from Butter to Hunts, like those browns in between, so I used about four shades, just like boop, 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 all the way through, because I want all those browns really, <laughs> I couldn't really decide, so I've just gone with all, in with all of them, but I did want, like I said, I chose Hunts just because I wanted a bit of that rusty orange, just a slight amount, not a lot. And I'm just taking a bit of Mocha again. Oh, I could totally go for a mocha right now. But yeah, just kind of bringing that colour back just a smidge bit. Mm. Yeah, that'll do it. And that's the stuff. And then I'll go back in with whatever's left on the pencil brush and just diffuse that brown slightly, just a little bit. I might just take that, just a big fluffy brush and just soften any edges. I haven't got any product on this, so it's just like a clean blender brush. So I'm just going to take some of the mascara I use on my top lashes and yeah, I'm just going to apply it to my bottom lashes. Only a little bit. I'm not the biggest fan of like spider lashes, especially on the bottom lash line. Anyways, that finished. Oh wait, <sighs> I literally nearly forgot the brow bone in a corner highlight. Like, could we? Could you believe it if we actually like finish this look off with not an inner corner highlight? Like brow bone I can live with, but like inner corner? No. Nah. But yeah, I might just use my usual and light shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And that is the eye look done. Anyways, so for the lips, I think I might just keep it pretty simple. Pretty simple, yeah. So 
So for the lips, I'm going to take my itty bitty little lip liner from Rimmel. This is the natural lip liner in the shade 049. And I'm just going to line my lips and also fill them in. Sometimes it's like literally like I'll just use the lip liner and like that'll do. Hey, am I, is it one of those days today? No, no, I'll do a lip gloss. So I'm just going to take my Bonjourous Paris 3D Effect lip gloss in the shade uh, Rose Romantic. And I'm just going to like apply that over top. So this wraps up today's makeup look guys, I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you have any requests for my future videos, make sure to leave them linked down below in the description bar so that I can do them for you I guess. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to like and subscribe down below before you leave. I'd love to see you guys in my future videos and you have you guys join my YouTube fam. Also, make sure you guys hit that little notification button, the little bell, so you guys can be notified for my upcoming videos. Otherwise, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have an amazing day. Bye.